from Huntingdon in Cambridgeshire, Tornado. Can really whip up a storm with a vertically mounted 2000 RPM 15 kilo spinning disc. It's four kilos heavier here and slower, but can push all day long. Hi, my name's Andrew Marchant. This is Brian Moss. This is David Gamble. We are Team Tornado. Remember how we pushed all the other robots around last year? Well, we're going to do the same this year. And this year we have this. Everybody beware. From the Isle of Wight, come and get your ex. Has a lifting beam that works as a Sremec as well and is capable of lifting 200 kilos. There's an axe too. This is the remodeled Robot Wars veteran Versing Getterix, which came, saw, but was conquered. Hi, we're Team Come and Getterix this year. We were Versing Getterix. This is Ian, Team Captain. I'm Alistair, and this is the sleeping partner Tom. Amongst our weaponry, we have a lifter, sarcasm written on the front, and an axe so that people will get the point. Roboteers, stand by. That's the Tornado team, Big Andrew Marchant in the middle. And Ian Gear at the controls of coming Getrix. So kill a lot again in the arena. Petrol driven engine, very big and heavy. And alongside our other house robot, Shunt. Will it push Tornado away? That'll be interesting. Three, two, Tornado really can shove and is very durable. Head-on collision there with Cummins Getrix, and look at that power. The four wheels really getting some traction. Tornado immediately on the attack, and Cummins Getrix in trouble here from Shunt against the arena sidewall, bashed out of the CP set. The ref bot looking on Tornado again, revving up to have another. Onward rush, an onslaught up to 10 mile an hour top speed tornado. So Kilowatt with the blinking eyes has a look. Come and get it. It's can't really get going at the moment. I think that initial shove by Tornado really took the wind out of Come and Get It's sails. And that 2000 RPM spinning disc is causing problems. Goodness me, what was that that came off? Let's have a look at it again. Something flies off. Oh, Come and Get it. Came right towards the camera then. That looked painful. Look at the damage course on the side of Cummins Getrix here by the Tornado weapon. We've talked throughout this series of Extreme about the pushing power of Tornado. We haven't really talked a great deal about that weapon until now. Oh, Cummins Getrix is axed by Shunt. There's the pit release button. Good control and driving skills throughout by Tornado. They've been so impressive in this series. Come and get Rix when it was a brave and worthy challenge by Ian Gear and Alistair and his son Tom, but uh, it's going to come to naught, I fear. Their lifting sort of arm has done very little damage. Tornado again abroad. The lifting arm flicks up in the air. That's the one that can lift 200 kilos, they say. But Tornado just getting in behind, look. Angling for another push. Just a nudge here and there. Coming Getrix away from the arena side wall, but very, very dangerously close to that pit. And I thought Tornado was going to get a broadside attack there. Coming Getrix reversing away, so good driving there just to get away from peril in the immediate. But they're between two angle grinders on the side wall of the arena. They're in peril. They know it. It's a kill lot. With a little touch, a little tickle of that great claw. And again, pushing towards shunt teamwork by the house robots. And Cummins Getrix is facing inevitable defeat. We know that. Tornado. Again, another ram on the side. Whoa! It's just toppled down in the end. Victory is Tornadoes. They hold on to that challenge belt once again. Cummins Getrix. Come and get it if you think you're hard enough. The winners and still the holders.